All right, Ren, we found Kirk's most active clone. He's about two hours from here. Think you can handle that? Nelson, you think I can't? Killing this guy over and over again is what I live for. Excellent. Now get going. We wouldn't want to lose him again. Okay, I'll do what I can. All right, Kirk, come out. I know you're here. Let's get a move on. Come on, man. I know you're here. You hit pretty well this time. Small town, college town at that. But please, I have stuff to do. Come on. There he is, man of the hour. You know, you're a hard guy to find. But you know we always do. Can we make this quick? What's the rush, Kirk? You have all the time in the world. Well, it just so happens that I'm in a place that I need to be right at this moment. So if you could kindly... See you next time. Come in. Close the door behind you. What took you so long? Well, you know, these things take time. Dave and Buster's had half-off tokens, didn't they? Yeah. Ren, work has to be your number one priority. We can't let any of Kirk's clones get closer to immortality. Yeah, I get this, but we've been doing this for years. I just need a little time to relax. There's no time to relax. Did he say anything this time? Not anything super specific, just that he had some place to be, or he was already there, or something. Do we have a status on his next clone? Of course we do. This one is pretty close, uh, out in the country. I suppose I could let you go tomorrow, seeing as you're not competent enough to get work done. Hey, I'm competent. I don't see you out there. Oh, so you're declining my offer for a day off? No, 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 no. Of course I'm going to take it. I live for days off. I'll see you tomorrow with his head in a Walmart bag. Oh, friend. Hey, where am I supposed to be going? Come on, it can't be that hard. I sent you the coordinates. Fine. Jonas Kirk was a fool, thinking the supernatural was where immortality lies. It lies with technology. Technology is superior. Immortality, here I come! Look at you, Kirk. All tuckered out. I expected more from you. Oh, hello. I thought you were dead already. Thanks for not ruining the fun. Uh, I ran. Uh. Well, good morning, sunshine. Are you ready to get your daily dose of lead? Why, yes. Yes, I am. Ah, we're cheery today. I like that. 
What you got? Nothing. Cause you got nothing on me. No bullets, no pride. I'm the best in the world. Woo! That's not possible. Does this not hurt you at all? Not at all. Okay. Mano a mano, I suppose. I could do it. Well, I guess that now I'm immortal. I won't be needing this. Sir, he's done it. Kirk has done it. This is a code 10, not a drill. I'm coming back to the compound. Okay, look, it's gonna be fine. We just need to figure out what to do. I don't know, Ren. I don't think there's anything we can do. Well, well, we'll figure it out. Don't we have any plans for in case this happened? We don't, we never thought he could do it. Well, we'll figure something out, we have to. Well, it's not about stopping his immortality anymore, because he's already got that. We need to shut down until we can find a way to stop him. Nelson, you can't be serious. Disband the organization? It's the only way. No, it isn't. Let's just keep doing what we have been for years. No, Ren. It was different when we were hunting a man who wanted immortality. Now we're fighting a man who already has it. I'm ending it, and that's final. Ladies and gentlemen, the BFPC is officially disbanded. You can all go home. didn't have a say in the company closing. It's fine, I have a job, it's fine. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Sorry, man. Nelson! Red, it's been a while. So, are you still? Yeah, and I think I'm close. Really? So am I, what have you come up with? So essentially, he uploaded his consciousness to a special network, right? He uploaded his entire being to essentially the internet. And he had to put that network into his own mind. So, if we can find that network and destroy it or shut it down, we can turn off his immortality. Th that's right, so the main problem is finding out where it is. And I've got a place to start. His mom's house. His mom's house. I mean, where else could he put it? She's a rich old lady that doesn't know much about the internet. I mean, he might have just set up a connection and then left his network there. That makes sense. All right, let's get wait, a move on. Wait, I think we should stop by the party store and get some supplies. We don't know what we're gonna be running into with what surveillance and whatnot, so we should do that first and then head over there. All right, let's do it. All right, are you ready? Let's do this. All right, masks, uh, here you go. How come you get the cool one? Because I paid for them. So what happens when you get a job after someone closes your company. I'll be right back. Wait, I'm not coming with you? No, I'm a professional. Then why even get two masks? I don't know, I want to make you seem like you're contributing to this. I'll be right back. Stop 
the car! Stop the car! What, 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 what happened? They saw me, they saw me. Start the car, go! Take a seat, we've got work to do. Okay, so this is his consciousness. He stored it on a eight gigabyte flash drive. Not a smart family. So, how exactly do we delete this thing? Well, it's simple. Done. So it's gone? No. That's not what I was doing. What did you do then? It doesn't matter what I was doing. Here's how you delete it though. Wait, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Should probably destroy this though, just in case. So, how are you gonna destroy it? Well, it's a very complicated process, just like deleting the file itself. There we go. Deed's done. So what's next? Well, I have to find where he is, and then I have to kill him again. Well, what about his clones? He shut them all down once he became immortal. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, Kirk was not a smart guy. But I guess I'm gonna start working on finding him. Good luck. Well, well, well. Looks like we've come full circle, Kirk. I know why you're here. Then you know we turned off your mortality. Speaking of that, how has that been? Well, uh, ever since I figured out you turned off my immortality, I've been here. So, are you ready? Believe it or not, I am. Okay, Kirk. What's with the somber attitude? I was foolish to wish for immortality. My great-great-grandfather, he was a fool. He thought immortality was the answer. It's, it's not. I killed people. I cheated death. I had everything I ever wanted. They say there is no life without death. Being immortal doesn't change that. I may have been able to live forever. But I died long ago. I haven't really lived since I've been immortal. I'd be honored if you'd take my life. Now you're speaking my language. Do what you must, but please, make it quick. You know you won't be coming back this time. I know.